Hello Gemini, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys are doing amazing. This is another intuitive reading about the other person for the second half of September. So this will give you insights about someone you're not in talking terms with or could be an ex-partner or just someone that goes to you, right? If you guys are not interested to listen to this kind of messages, then you may skip watching this video, okay? Please bear in mind that this is still a general reading, so some of this may not resonate. Do check your moon signs and Venus signs as well for more information. Cross watchers, the energies could be vice versa in this reading, okay? With that said, thank you so much for all your support, and let's get into this reading. Spirit, any messages please about this other person that Gemini is dealing with at this time? Any messages please, Spirit, about this other person that Gemini is dealing with at this time? Gemini, I sense some anger issues here, okay? Um, to be honest, as I'm shuffling, okay, this part of my body is just starting to warm and I feel, whoa, and see the tower, right? Fire, lightning, so what's going on? I feel like someone is definitely upset and angered. Uh, something is collapsing or coming down. Maybe this person emotionally is breaking down or it could be mentally breaking down. Um, they're not handling the tower moment between the two of you really well if it's a breakup or separation and their reaction with it is is not so much grieving but rather upset and angry um they're breaking down okay they're breaking down so let's see what that is all about gemini Let's cut the deck and see what we have for you, my dear. Okay, heart of the matter is the devil. Capricorn energy or someone that has Capricorn in their chart. All oh, right, so I don't know if you guys could see, but um, with this devil energy, fire, all right? Um, I feel like addictions, really. Something about this person, whenever... Or whatever they do they seem to feel stuck okay it's not so easy for this person to move around so maybe stuck with old patterns old behaviors outdated beliefs this could even mean their health there could be some addictions that they're battling with right now the list could go on and on my dear Gemini so if that's not the case then you could be dealing with a Capricorn all right um, money could also be an issue with this relationship right now or someone's relationship with money is something that throws you off Gemini let's see we have the father of cups all right now I'm drawn to um, the beak is that called the beak of the father of cups there's something about their language as well the way they express their emotions is very eruptive and it's very explosive so I you know, I'm reading this intuitively and I'm getting this energy of bickering, nagging, uh, someone who could be always nitpicking on you, my dear Gemini. Um, there's something about them not being able to control their language, their words. And so, I, I don't know, you could be dealing with a partner or, or a person who is not careful with their words. And it could be stemming from their anger issues here or them not be able to have what they want in life, their frustration. It, it's, it's, it's the way they speak. They hurt other people uh, because they themselves are hurting, the, are hurting on the inside, okay, if that makes sense. So we have the Six of Pentacles, and it's coming across as reversed. So usually when this is reversed, something is not in balance, or it could mean a situation where there's no give and take so yeah like i said because they're not getting what they want from you gemini um they're so easily irritated or they could easily see faults in others that's the best way that i could put it uh, but that's because they're not getting what they want in life they're not really emotionally fulfilled in life there's something about money too maybe they, they lost a lot of money or they think that money is their happiness here it's a materialistic kind of love 
and and furthermore the father of cups is being blocked like this so you could be dealing with someone's shadow side cancer scorpio or pisces they emotionally pin you down for things that they're not sat satisfied um on their own here they blame others for their unsatisfaction if that makes sense so let's see with the death card um, there has been a separation, like I said, but this can also mean that this person couldn't let go of their old ways, old behavior. Um, they were very closed off with the idea of changing. Change is not so easy with this person. Like I said, with the devil, their attachments to their uh, to the stuff that they do, it's like to them, it's not so easy to change. They can even see the need to change as well. Okay, they could be in the state of in denial here. Could be a Scorpio as well with the death card. Okay, like I said, um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So I feel like someone can also be holding some grudge or they have a tendency to hold resentment on others or onto you as well, Gemini. Um, and that's the reason why maybe with the little things that goes on in this relationship, right? This is uh, a minor kind of with the little things, mundane activities that you both have dealt with in the past. They could easily take offense with that and say, you know, hurtful words. But it's stemming from a fact that they're not able to take control of their emotions or their life. And they blame it or take it out on you, okay? So judgment card. Um, you know, there's something here that tells me this person wants to change. But there's also the arrogance that I'm getting here. Or maybe they feel like... They're not so sure if they can change, if they can change here. With judgment, um, they're going to be confronted sooner or later about the stuff that they have done towards you and the relationship. There's going to be a real moment. Um, maybe this is universe conspiring for this person to finally realize um, their behavior, their actions with the judgment card. Judgment can also mean second chances. So for some of you, you might be thinking of forgiving this person eventually. Um, but it's different from taking them back in. All I'm seeing is uh, a sense of forgiveness for the bad treatment that you have received from them in the past, okay? This could be someone older than you as well, Gemini. If not by age, then, you know, by experience in life. And, and so much about the painful past may have hardened this person or changed the way they are okay they resorted to the double energy as a form of band-aid solution to the pain that they've encountered in their past and now their unsatisfaction is exactly what's weighing them down that what's weighing them down there's this energy of wanting to be free from that stress and that burden uh, but it starts with them right here it starts with their emotions with their heart there's something about the root chakra and the heart chakra as well that's not becoming open here, not balanced. So consequently, they're not able to, you know, open as well to their higher self or ascend to, your, to their higher self here. Um, I know it's sounding a lot cryptic, but that's what I see with the cards. We have the Ten of Cups, Gemini. This could be, you know, your husband, your wife, a family member. Um, also, maybe someone you had kids or children with. But with the Ten of Cups in the near future... Um, it's a beautiful energy as you can see if this person decides to change it's going to be a spiritually fulfilling life marriage or a good family for the two of you uh, but if it ha has been a separation I feel like eventually this person will get back to alignment okay we'll get back to alignment ten of cups does not necessarily mean with a partner but rather it's a state of oneself where you feel whole once again um, you feel plentiful, you feel healthy, all right? Uh, but this right here, there's just a lot of temptations right now. And, and this person needs to seek what is real from what not, what is not because there's a state of being in denial here, okay? Um, what else? We have here four of swords. For some of you, this person could be forcing you to forgive them. All right, and want to go back to the past, but they haven't truly changed right here. Heart of the matter is the double. Four of Swords communication is not really smooth right now. It's not, I feel like you cut communication with your partner. Um, to you, Gemini, it's just not a good time to take this person back, okay? You could be recuperating from an unhealthy relationship. 
and you want some time alone for some repose or recharge your batteries before you know reestablishing communication with this person right so in the environment is the daughter of pentacles this could be a young earth sign taurus virgo capricorn like i said you could have had kids with this person right so this could be one factor as to to for some of you okay not for all um that's why you're rethinking your decisions here if you're going to forgive this person there's something about your children and your kids also if this is someone younger than you you could be the one more mature more experienced and so this person has a very immature relationship with with uh, i don't want to say money but it's kind of like a materialistic person as well but but there's a very selfish kind of nature here they don't give what you deserve in your relationship but they keep on taking from you and i don't usually get this energy from the daughter of pentacles i love the daughter of pentacles but just how i see with the rest of the cards here okay because they're blocking their emotions they're they're so much concerned about money here about yeah resources something about give and take here as well they just keep on taking all right you feel as though you're also bonded to this person all right it's a very codependent relationship for some of you um heavily dependent on you gemini for money for survival as well and so i feel like it could be you that you want some sense of freedom because this person has been weighing you down their behavior or or what they're doing here in in this dynamics is weighing you down this is excess baggage here unless this person desires to change though okay hopes and fears is ace of cups so maybe if this is a drinker because i see here addictions you hope for this person to stop drinking all right because it's one of the factors as to why uh they're aggressive and they're abusive okay if that's the case i feel like ace of cups can also mean loving yourself first here gemini you must prioritize self-love um, you must seek some counseling as well if this partner of yours have hurt you abused some of you okay it's not going to be for all um there could be some family and friends who will support you some intense support group over here that you can lean on as you're dealing with this person as you're going through the process of leaving this person behind okay there's going to be a sense of emotional freedom for some of you i know it's a lot of downloads but yeah this is a general reading so please just take whatever resonates ace of cups can also mean that this person hopes to be forgiven like i said second chance here oh and the outcome is the two of cups i'm going to clarify that okay so for some of you it might be that this person will change for the better mm, but maybe with two of cups for some of you you might be moving towards some someone else that's what i'm seeing here someone else and that's why this person might ask for some you know a chance to win you over or win you back because probably there could be an earth sign a younger earth sign um who's offering you a new relationship who's coming in with an emotional offer here okay so if this is a scorpio or capricorn or water sign um they want to have you back or win you back because they eventually realize that you are moving forward with new love and so they were late to realize your worth here gemini let's see why is the double card here please spirit clarify the double card please we have the four of pentacles see there's something about being materialistic that you guys don't really like about this person someone very rigid and uptight i'm also not open for other people's ideas or opinions you could have also dealt with a person who's not emotionally expressive or the way that they express their emotions is very eruptive and explosive okay you also felt suffocated by this person as well if they depended on you um is very rigid kind of situation there's not a lot of emotional freedom to love one another here why is the father of cups here please the harfant yeah this could have been um a very traditional and yeah m traditional marriage here with the father of cups did i mention bickering i feel like sometimes the harfant can be a little bit preachy 
okay someone could be shouting at you a lot or you know it's through words that they hurt you a lot here gemini uh, but they don't see themselves as well they don't care to practice what they preach type of deal also you might be reinforcing some rules with your partner you could be telling them about their behavior but they refuse to listen that's what i'm seeing here maybe you're the one who's calling them out for their behavior but they refuse to listen or could still be refusing to listen here okay why is the six of pentacles here in reverse father of wands okay could be an aries leo sagittarius who could be a little bit of a player as well all right commitment is needed with this person but it seems like they weren't fully committed that's why you know you could have wanted some equal give and take but this person was just not providing or doing the work here in this relationship could be the type of person as well who abandons situation and and goes to another situation as fast as they could so that's why the hierophant is being blocked this person does not stick around for commitment long enough nine of swords this person gave you a lot of nightmares here gemini a lot of um pain okay and you could have suffered with this relationship for some of you mentally okay mentally or for some of you abused you because of the words that they say it has affected some of you and I feel like, you know, you should go to, yeah, you should continue with your healing process and and be surrounded by people who can help you get through it, okay? Because it's not for all, but for some of you, this really affected your confidence and the way that you see yourself. And I hope that you guys heal that and, and reclaim your confidence, your life together. Um, and you don't deserve to be labeled um by this person who i feel like they can't get their stuff together here they can't practice what they preach here so why is the judgment card here please spirit we have the ace of swords so some of you will be communicating with this person and letting them know your decision uh, for some of you there might be a very frank frank discussion with this person um no beating around the bush maybe you're gonna let them know uh, what you're thinking and maybe you're thinking for some of you that you're finally going to put an ending you're going to use that sword to cut through this this loop this cycle with this person okay four of wands so like i said for some of you um if it's forgiveness maybe this relationship okay if it's spiritually awakened what's necessary here is this person fix the way they think and have some spiritual awakening go through some process of healing in and out and if you're able to overcome that together okay it might be just a trial for you both as a couple to overcome uh, but this relationship can be strengthened because of what you both have experienced um, this is a time where this person must awaken to their priorities here like what are they doing wrong and 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 how do they need to change or what do they need to change about themselves and unless this person takes a good look in the mirror and see themselves Okay, the Ace of Swords can mean clarity, no longer in state of denial here. Um, once they can check themselves like that, I feel like that's the time where they can start, you know, changing for the best there. Okay, changing for the better. Why is the Four of Swords here, please, Spirit? We have Nine of Wands. Okay, so this energy of, um, I feel like, control issues okay and you feel as though you can't you can't trust this person anymore because of their controlling overprotective over jealous personality uh but them being over, overly protective overly jealous just doesn't make sense because they have this nature of you know doing stuff behind your back as well is what i'm trying to say for some of you you're thinking of giving up about this relationship altogether you could be at that point of making a decision can i still hold on or should i just totally get you know let this person go okay why is the daughter of pentacles here please ten of wands all right for some of you though you could be a single parent and you could be carrying and shouldering all the responsibilities for your child which is something i really commend you guys for because it's not easy it's not it's not really easy at all 
Um, and so with that said, I hope that you find strength within you and in love self-love for all the things that has been has done has been um has happened for you with this other person you don't deserve that kind of treatment okay and with this ten of wands you know the burden is going to come to an end eventually right now what you need to focus on is is self-love and your children if that's the case uh, because this relationship right now you if you keep continuing on this path you might not see clearly the obstruction that that is in front of you or this impending burden to the point of exhaustion here high priestess okay so your intuition will speak to you your intuition or spiritual awakening is needed for this person to have a change of heart okay ace of cups can mean opening the heart chakra for the best by listening to their guides their intuition here um, honoring what they know is right okay not on their ego but what they feel what they what spirit is telling them to do here a cleansing a spiritual cleansing is needed why is the two of cups here please spirit mother of wands so i did see father wands and mother of wands so you know again married couple wife husband um this could be you know a marriage where you both are experiencing a lot of ups and downs with your partner okay and now your partner could be in that process of realizing you know what's what's really important in this life may have undergone underwent some middle age crisis for some of you i don't know drinking too much addictions um and now you know i think that you both will you definitely will assert prior to prioritizing self-love here and your kids but eventually for some of you your partner is going to change and realize that they want to work things out with your uh, family here if this is not a husband wife kind of relationship i feel like for some of you um you might forgive this person but you're moving towards another earth sign okay um which you're going to be feeling very emotionally fulfilled with with the two of cups or it could be another fire sign as well but you're going to forgive the past and you're going to say your truth and that's it. It's a time where you tell yourself um, you're going to let go of the past fully, okay? And it's needed. Closure is needed because this person is still trying to like be around, you know? Closure is needed. Okay, let's see what else we have there. Um, now I'm using the Enchanted Map Oracle cards. Additional messages, please, Spirit, about this other person that Gemini is connecting with at this time. I also want to say that they're if they're aggressive and violent, it's best to like avoid, isolate yourself from this person for now. Uh, security is at most important for, for most of you guys. Um, pray for this person, pray for their recovery. Okay, if their actions are about to get aggressive, get help from authorities as well. So just be mindful and cautious, okay? Okay, solitude card. See what I mean? Retreat for now, my dear. We did see the four of swords a while ago. You need this time to recover, to recuperate, okay? You need to also uh, cool things off with all the quarreling and arguing. Uh, because it's already an emotional baggage and being in the hermit mode or solitude can really help you guys analyze your situation all right this is a time where you must know yourself first it's not a good time to seek out your partner or them trying to seek out seek out you or reach out to you because it will be another um, explosive argument or conflict unless this person gets help or changes for the best here okay like i said maybe getting help for their addictions or maybe spiritual cleansing okay there's something that they definitely need to release one ring circus both of these cards indicate that you need to avoid this person for now all right uh, but it doesn't mean avoiding everyone else because it can get a little bit lonely and if you overdo the isolation uh, it could also be a cause of imbalance in your life my dear gemini there could still be people 
loved ones, family members, siblings that you can talk to about your situation. So don't try to shoulder all the burden on your own, okay? Um, with One Ring Circus, I feel like you guys are very, very strong right now. You do have the ball in your court. Um, I think that it's best that you look out for yourself and in such way, you know, do not triggering your partner or the other person to do something crazy. So I even see you guys maybe moving out or maybe, yeah, moving out. So ceasefire, okay, to end the conflict for now, the drama. So it's for security purposes as well. Let's see. Let's get one more card. Oh, okay. Two cards. Yeah, you're dealing with someone's shadow side. This could also be like the devil energy, the goblins, their inner demons, their insecurities uh, that's causing them to lean towards addictions or unhealthy habits or just the way that they perceive the situation, okay? So movement, yeah. Move away. Move away from this person for now, right? It's not a good time. Soon enough, this person will realize, but for now... Uh, it's really not a good time. You must reflect um, and be on your own. Stay strong, okay? This will bring peace and prosperity if you put yourself first. Um, spirit is still in control, okay? And movement suggests that, you know, you, this person can need a lot of movement as well because the devil card can also mean being too stuck in old ways. So this person needs to move out of that space to become more healthy, um, maybe they're they're stuck with their old ways with the with the goblins and they need to move away from that kind of unhealthy lifestyle or unhealthy behavior okay so space is needed is what I'm what I'm getting here that is your reading my dear Gemini I know it's not going to resonate for all but if it does let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching until the end if you haven't watched the how do they feel about you reading I already uploaded that yesterday it's a different reading so with that said be on the lookout for next week's uploads I'm sending you love and light and namaste